My name is Vincent Diomede. I was an electrician made second class. The first thing we went through was the Panama Canal. Tried to be on deck as much as I could. Yeah, that was really, it was really a, a great experience. When we went, when we went into the, uh, into the uh, canal, into the uh, locks, four ship, four destroyers could fit in the lock at one time. By the way, when the Missouri went in, the Missouri just fit all by itself to show you the difference of sizes of uh, ships. And, uh, and it was great. There's a freshwater lake that you wash everything in the ship in and out with fresh water from this freshwater lake by the Panama Canal. And the ships that were lined up, French freighters and uh, Russian freighters and all the different countries all lined up. We were, as we were passing by, all these ships would come by us. And we had a guy on the aftermast with the American flag. And his job was to return a salute from these freighters. And uh, that's all he had to do. And a freighter would come by, if they would pass, and they would drop their colors. And he would drop the colors and return a salute. Well, he got so used to it that when a ship came up, he just dropped the American flag. Executive officer was on a bridge, ran from the bridge all the way to this aftermath, grabbed this guy. The only time I ever seen an officer get physical, by the way. Grabbed this guy by the shoulders and threw him against this, this mast. We're a man of war. They salute us. We don't salute them. And that kid never forgot that. Around the Panama Canal, we really didn't see too much. There was a lot of, a lot of trade ships with different countries. A couple of Soviet ships, but nobody, nobody was any... Uh, over in the Mediterranean, we had Soviet ships that were uh, not friendly. But uh, down in Panama Canal, South America, everything would... There was a lot of ships in South America, in South American countries, that the United States had given old ships. And the people from that country would come over and say, oh, you know, I forgot what... There was a famous cruiser that we gave them. Oh, they loved that ship. They thought that was great. And this was... The United States had sold them our old ships, which they still do, by the way. Which Panama, I just saw a, a picture of Panama City with high-rises and all that stuff. At 60 years ago, there were no high-rises in Panama. Anyway, Panama Canal was interesting. Then we went to uh, Cartagena, Colombia. And it was, uh, it was a nice town in Colombia. It was a nice city. And we went from Cartagena down to uh, Salinas, Ecuador. And Salinas, Ecuador was like a shore town that nobody took care of. I never thought too much, of, but, but it was, you know, a small, a small town in Ecuador. And we went to uh, Lima, Peru which was great. Uh, I met an, an Italian man who owned a restaurant and he sort of took me and my friend under his wing, <coughs> come and pick us up with his car, go eat in the restaurant, go down to the beach. It was a great, uh, great time in, in uh, Peru. And then, we, and then we went down to Santiago, Chile. And that was, it was a nice, well taken care of, all of, most of the big cities were all well uh, taken care of. Uh, taken care of, there was no garbage, it was, it was like, they, like it was maintained. 